Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing kind of like a kidding down. I'm going to be putting away some drills that Jeanette sent me. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, there was already two videos of me putting these away, so this is video number three. And I've been putting away a bag at a time, so here's the next bag. The next video might actually be the last two bags because the last bag is AB drills. So, I don't think it'll be as many. So if you haven't seen one of my kidding downs before, I this is how I organize my leftover drills for finished diamond paintings. And you're like, why do I even bother doing this? Because I can't seem to throw them away and I've been also using my leftover drills to do cross stitch conversions. So using a cross stitch pattern to um, uh, as a diamond painting instead of a cross stitch. And it works out because a lot of cross stitch patterns use the same color coding system as diamond painting. So in a diamond painting, you may notice this diamond painting is next to me. You may notice like there is this legend here and then usually this is the symbol that you see on the canvas and then there's this other color this number other number here and this number is actually associated with the color and that's using the dmc code color scheme and cross stitch patterns a lot of them use the same color codes so it's relatively um easy i don't know if it's easy but you can <laughs> Can, if you can do a cross stitch pattern as a diamond painting and I have done a couple already so in my box here these are photo boxes I got these from Joann's and then there's a I have a card for each one here and that has the color and then I have a baggie for that color so this is me putting them away. And most of the time, the colors do match most of the time each other, except sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Not sure if you can tell the difference. <sighs> but this one is just a slightly different shade than that one. And It matches this one. I do also shade match if the... I try to shade match at least. Like in the future, the these two colors are not that different. I can see myself just mixing them because they're not that different. Oh, here's another 834. I think this one looks like this one also. I have gone through um, the place I normally get cross stitch patterns from is Heaven and Earth Designs, and I've gone. I went through their. Well, I went through a couple of their things. I I went I went through their the ones that said QS, which stands for Quick Stitch, and usually those are simpler. But I found a couple, but I don't know. We'll see. So I also have this overflow box here. This is for the stuff that has a lot of that certain color and I don't put it in with these boxes but because there's these are otherwise I would have like a whole row column with just the one color so I know I had extra 823 because I put a little sticker up here that's just to tell me go look I have more 823 so I do have some 823 here I 
think I'm going to make a new bag for 823. And we'll top it off more. Take out some of this one. So then when I kip down in the future, there won't be as much, but I'll keep some in there for color matching purposes. So yeah, you probably won't see that box that much because I'll probably just keep it over there, but I took that out to, for me to show you. So I apparently have three separate shades. I don't know why I separated them. I'm thinking I might just mix all of these. They're very similar. I can see a little bit about why I separated them out. Okay, I can see why I separated them out, but I don't know why I separated these two. in there. I might combine these. I don't know why I have them separated. They look similar enough. Or I might keep them separate. I've already got rid of one bag. Seven ninety-eight. Okay, I can see why I separated these out. One's darker than the other, but I'm not sure if you can tell because the camera, the camera likes to. This one looks like this one though. The camera likes to. I don't know. Adjust the coloring. Maybe for that nice beauty shot. <laughs> Seven fifty-eight. Okay, so these look very different. This one looks the most. This one. Take this out like this one. So I'm blowing into it a little bit because I saw there was some static. So hopefully settle down the static a little bit. And the blowing into it just kind of puts a little bit of, you know how when you, you fog up something, put a little bit of moisture into something. Okay, I'm gonna put 
some lotion on to help my fingers be able to grip a little bit more. It's usually easier during the summer. Now, my skin's just dry all the time. Seven, nine, nine. Looks like this one. Um, yeah, those probably don't look that different on camera. <laughs> 794. Okay, they all look different. Yeah, they all look different. Okay, I probably still have which my bag is going to be full. So. this into my overflow. And I'm going to put a sticker on this one to tell me that I have more in my overflow. Still have three shades of the, four shades of this one. Okay, eight forty four. Okay, so since this bag is pretty full, just going to and the shade is the same. I'm just going to put this in my overflow. Put a sticker on this to tell me there's more in my overflow. Just put it straight in there. So 
one with 41. You know, these look pretty much the same. I don't, I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to combine them. Like, why am I, why am I separating them out? Sure, this is, yeah, they're just, uh, one's just a tiny bit darker. I don't even know. But they're very similar. So, I'm actually going to just have one. Just gonna put that into overflow. Have just one shade. Might toss some. This one's a tiny bit lighter, so I think I can see why I have them separated. So toss some of the lighter one in there to, like it's barely lighter. Like I can barely see the difference now that I have them in the bag. Okay, so. 741 down to one bag 740 I might mix these two they're very similar like like I could barely tell the difference since I have kind of two shades. Yeah, barely any difference. Okay. Uh, not enough to separate them out. Now 740. Sometimes I'm overzealous, I think, in my shade matching that I'm like, I don't know, I can barely see the difference. Seven forty-two. Okay, I can see the difference. These ones. That one is much lighter. this one seven fifty eight okay these look very different. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is this going to be a third, fourth shade? They, they look really different. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, they all look very different. Gosh. Okay, that's much lighter. So you might be wondering why there's all these different shades. I think it's mainly just how they get manufactured. Okay, I know I have a lot of 939. You know, it's like paint when it gets manufactured. Okay, so I already have... So I also have this bag with the ones that have tons of... So my 939 bag is very full, but that's not going to be enough to be full. So I'm going to just put it into here momentarily because I don't want to put it in my overflow bag until it's really full. Do I have tons in here? No, this one is pretty empty. Okay. So I'm going to need like two more bags of 939 of this other size here to fill up this bigger bag. A lot of static here. Nine sixty three. Very little of this. I'm guessing I used to have another shade.
Three shades. Looks like none of them. four shades of this one because the manufacturers can't come to a consensus. Okay, 938. I do have a good chunk of it. This bag is pretty full. Okay, I do have this much of this bag here. So... this bag here since I'm gonna put this in my overflow overflow beyond my overflow bag. Can't close it anymore. Okay. So I'm gonna highlight this one just to tell me there's more in a big bag. getting added to my big bag collection. 934. Okay. I could probably I'm just gonna mix they're similar enough I'm gonna just Seven nine 
seven. Okay. I can't tell. They're very similar. I might just mix these all too. This one looks like this more than that one. But they're so similar. I might just mix them all. And just be <laughs> and just have it all in one big I'm gonna mix them. Very similar. Yeah, they're very similar. I don't know why. running out of happy face stickers I only have I've gone to Dollar Tree and they weren't there anymore so I might have to have a different sticker too I, I only have this much left but we'll see I just need that minute it's not I'm not running out that quickly <laughs> I think I yeah bought them at Dollar Tree and you know how Dollar Tree is one day it's there and then the next day it's not there anymore
With all these drills that I have, I don't even need to do regular diamond paintings. I could just keep doing cross stitch conversions. I probably have enough drills to do some for a while. Okay, I'm guessing this is 3865. This is 3865 and not. I think my bag is full already, so we'll start up a new one. Still a drill in there. Don't feel like getting the bag out again. That's gonna get thrown. Okay, seven, seven, nine. Okay. Okay, see this one, these ones look a little purple. This one looks brown. I'm tempted to just mix these two that are a little bit purple and then just have this brown one be in the, in the second bag. Because, yeah, these two look a little purple. This one, this other one looked a little bit more purple. And this one actually looks like brown brown without the purple. <laughs> yeah. See, this one has some purple, this one does yeah, I might just mix them. They're so similar. I'll just leave it for now. Seven ninety three. Okay, these look very different. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to tell. But hey, it's in the same size bag, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. 780 actually looks I'm 
I was going to choose, it looks like this one. One has a more reddish tone to it. One is more brown brown. Okay, three eight six zero. Okay. Yeah, this will still fit in one of my overflow bags but now I am going to have an overflow bag so I need a sticker on this but it's not enough for me to have it in my overflow my big overflow just put it into here for now until there's enough to fill another bag dry again. Just put some more lotion on. Okay. Three, eight, six, zero. Okay. Three eight. I think it looks different. These beige colors. are very variable. is the main one okay there's not that much so I should be able to fill this up without needing another bag yet okay Okay, 
three colors. It looks like it matches that one. Okay, I have four bags apparently. Oh. Matches this one. different. Let's see why I separated them. Eight, six, nine. This one looks different. Actually, now that I put the plastic over it, it looks like it would match. Sometimes the the thickness of the bag, since it's thick, it clouds the color a little bit, so it makes it look like a different color even if it's not. Okay, that was a, light, a little bit darker than what I currently have in there, but it's not too bad. Okay, 310. I think all my bags were pretty full for the 310, so... Yeah, there. So, still need to fill up some
31. Okay, that looks really different than the other one. That's probably why I still have this bag here. I had used this for probably my one of my Heaven Nerd designs. One of my cross stitch conversions that I already have kitted up. This one says 832, so it's right next to it. different shade that I have kitted up. 833. Okay, this is a different shade than that one. enough to okay okay so now we have more in this one's just gonna go into my overflow bag here with all my stuff with little tons. I do have more bags here that I was going to use. I just noticed this one is coming off. The problem with using two removable of labels is they'll come off the bags when you don't want them to remove. I think it looks like this one. Overflow, so I could One seven. Okay, 
shade. That's a different shade. different Twenty-seven. extra of this so maybe I should just put this in the extra I finished up that bag so I still have two bags here um, to do so look up for them in a future video all right so thank you very much to Jeanette for sending me these drills and thank you for watching and happy diamond painting bye